Hello, and welcome to our channel where we explore everything. This is the fifth video of the series, Create Your Own Automation App, and today we'll be exploring more realistic examples or use cases of our app. Let's get started. Our first example, emailing sales summary. In this example, we're going to query sales orders from the OTA database, ask AI to summarize the data and email it. The first step is, of course, to create a new flow. Then we add the nodes. Don't worry about the placement. We can arrange them later. For this example, we need the start node, merge node, simple AI node, mail node, and the data node. Let's arrange them a bit so we can all see the nodes on the screen. Next, we connect the nodes by connecting them. This creates a sequence for the flow starting from the start node. Then we save the flow. Please note that saving the flow will not make it run automatically. Always remember to save the flow after editing so you don't lose your work. Now we'll configure the nodes. For this example, we'll query data from the sales analysis report model and select the order reference field, product field, quantity ordered field, and total field. We also set the dynamic date filter to the current month. The dynamic date filter is useful if we plan to make the flow automatically run with an on-schedule node. With a dynamic date filter, the data will be filtered according to the current month. Next, we configure the simple AI node. This time, we'll leave the system message as is and change the prompt to ask the AI to analyze the sales data from the data node. We also set the convert result to HTML checkbox, which allows us to directly use the AI response on the mail node. For the mail node, we need to set the subject, recipients, and email template as shown on your screen. Note that the email template is a QWeb template, so we can use the T directives to create our email template. And we're done. Let's try it out. Our second example is using AI to assign a user to a task. For this example, we'll create a flow that uses AI to assign a user to a task when the task stage is changed. This example demonstrates using AI to automate a process. While this is a simple example, it shows the possibility of using AI for more use cases, not just chat and generating texts. We're going to need several nodes for this flow. The on edit trigger node, start node, active data node, record map node, merge node, simple AI node, and update active data node. Similar to before, Let's connect and save the flow before we configure these nodes.
We set the trigger node to operate on the task model and stage field, since we want the flow to start when the stage field is changed. Next, we choose the title field and description field for the active data node. This will be passed to the AI as information about the task. Then we select the user model for the record map and select which users are available for the AI to choose for the task. For each user, we need to describe their information, which will be used by the AI to correctly choose a suitable user for the task. Next, we configure the simple AI node. We check the structured output flag and set the JSON schema. Finally, we set the update active node to update the assignee's field with the user selected by the AI. Let's try it out. The third example is a flow that queries data group and emails it. Similar to the first example, but this time we use the data group node. The data group node allows us to query data aggregates instead of detail records. For this example, we use the start node, data group node, merge node, and mail node. As shown on your screen, this time we select the sales order model and choose the total field and untaxed amount field for the value fields. We also set the aggregate function to sum and group the data by order date. Then for the email, we set the subject field, recipient field, and template for the email. and we're done.
Now you've seen some examples of what Nuido Flow app can do. What kind of flow and nodes will you use or develop to automate your Odoo? Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who might benefit from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all my experiments and tutorials.